ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತುರ್ವಶ್ಚಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುಬೇವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೀಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮುಖಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈತೂಷಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರನ್ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಿಂಚಿನು ತಂ ಸರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಲುಭವಾಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಕಬೋಧೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಂ ಕರೋಸು ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಆದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಆದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬದಾಥು ಸಂಕೇತನೈಕಪಿತರೋ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೌ ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನುಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷು ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀ ಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಭೇದತೆ ಹೃದಯ ಗಂತಿ ಛಿದ್ದಂತೆ ಸರ್ವಶಂಶಯ 
Kiyante chasya karmani drishtane vatmanishvari vidyate hidaya ganti chiddante sarva sangshaya Kiyante chasva karmani drishtane vatmanishvari Gauriya Goshtipati Sisila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Chakra Prabhupada Paramahamsa Jagadguru told those who are doing Krishna Bhajan, especially those who are in renounce order, they must try to understand the future consequent of the enjoyment what you are going to expect today. What you are going to expect today, the kind of enjoyment, you will have to see long distance. What is the ultimate result? Sila Gauriya Goshtipati, Sila Bhakti Siddhanta, Saraswati Goswami Thakar Prabhupada, Paramahansa Jagadguru told, those who are sadhu, they must understand the future result of the kind of enjoyment he is going to expect today. They are always, their darshan is always, their darshan is always clear. Very clear. They can see. Not that like a blind man. Now I am enjoying. After that, enjoyment gone. You are put in the ocean of misery. So, so the kind of enjoyment you are expecting today. You want to do enjoyment today. You have to see about the future result of what you are expecting today. Those who are realized soul, big, big Sadhu Guru Vaishnava, they always try to give, always try to give guidance to bonded soul, always. But it's up to them, because bonded soul is always, you know, they have some free will. They can obey, cannot obey, that depends upon. Those who are, Prabhupada used to say, those who are going to take shelter of Gauriyamat, those who are going to take shelter of Gauriyamat in true sense, they can never be destroyed. Papa writing, Papa speaking, those who are going to take shelter of Gauriyamat in true sense, they can never be destroyed. But question is, we are going to take shelter of Gauriyamat or not? We are going to take shelter of Gauriyamat or not? Gauriyamat means originally Radharani and all a Guru Varga. Gauriyamat means. Anyway, one day Prabhupada was walking down one Calcutta street near our previous uh, no, home, uh, a little North Calcutta there. Prabhupada was walking over a pavement, pavement, you know, pavement, uh, road and pavement. Popat and some devotees, they are walking, I mean going to some place. <laughs> Suddenly, one building, old building, one veranda fall down. Suddenly, full veranda, one old, old building, very dilapidated condition, very bad condition, suddenly break down on the road. And just Pohupad and all devotees just step up here, leap back, then falling down. Just one fraction of second, they are saved. Then Pohupad standing there, Pohupad standing there and speaking Harikatha. Today you see, this way, those who are going to take shelter of Goryamat, they can be protected. They will be protected. This way. This way they will be protected. So nobody can kill them. Those who like to destroy Gauriya Gauriya Katha, they can try their best, but they cannot do. It's a commitment of Prabhupada. Foolish people, they don't know. Those who are specially going to take shelter of Gauriya they can never be destroyed. They can never be destroyed. They can never be destroyed. They can survive by the mercy of Radharani and I mean, Pohupad Guru. 
So it's absurd, this kind of conception. Now point is that bonded soul usually having false ego, everybody knows, we know. We are going to admit that really we have some false ego due to some, because we have bonded condition. Even those demigods living in the heaven, I already told that day, they are false ego. If you think, if you think they are demigods, if you think, if you think they are demigods, so they are elevators, so they can do anything, not that. You think heavenly planet, okay, higher planet, they are given some special power, that's okay. But their condition is not good. Their condition is not good. They are not uh, totally free of anartha. They are in favor of Bhagavan, okay. But sometimes, if time to time they can, they can try to fight with Bhagavan also. Yes, they are in favor of Bhagavan, okay. Everybody knows demigods, they are in favor of Bhagavan and demons, they are against Bhagavan. But time to time, Indra and all other, they try to fight with Bhagavan. This is the case. So how we can say they are out of anartha? Not that. So they are in heavenly planet, they have some special power, special you know, power given by Bhagavan. Special power given by Bhagavan. That's why they are powerful. They have some they have some special you know facility. They need they need not uh, suffer trouble, anything, but sometimes they are suffering. Anyway, bodily they are very stout figure, they are not going to develop any disease. No sweat, nothing. Anything then? Eighteen different kind of Siddhi already there. So this life is not good because due to this kind of facility, they sometimes forget what is their future. So many facilities there, due to all these facilities, they sometimes forget. They sometimes you are enjoying now, you are enjoying anything, many things in, in this heaven, so many things. You can enjoy beautiful ladies of Sora, you can do anything you like, but they are not going to think about the future you know, result. What, you, what kind of result you can meet with in future. That's why they are not in a position, their position is such. They are not in a position to concentrate in Hari Bhajan perfectly. They are doing. Sometimes they pray as to But they are not doing. But in human body, there is a hundred percent facility you are getting, provided you can realize. By the help of a Sadguru. Common people cannot do it. Common people cannot do it. So this kind of, you know, Siddhanta, we can get from Sastra, different kind of Sastra. Because Atma, Atma Tattva is very secret. You can gather different kind of knowledge. But if I ask, you have any knowledge about Atma Tattva? You cannot see. You cannot feel. You cannot speak anything about Atma Tattva because you have no information. Who can give you information? At all, one or two Atma Tattva is there. But who is the recipient who can accept? Maybe one or two can be there who can speak. Ascharyasya Bhakta, Ascharyasya Bhakta, Kushala Apsalabhya. Ascharyasya Bhakta, who can speak something out of his own realization about Atma Tattva is real. Or at all, one or two, if you find, or at all one or two, if you find, but who is going to accept? We need competent person, no? This way you cannot. So, we are, we are not sure about that. We are not at all sure that those, are, those who are living in heavenly planet, they have full knowledge about Atma Tattva. No guarantee. No guarantee they are having. Some of they can have. Like about Sankar Bhagavan, we cannot speak anything because he is under the category of 12 Dadas, Dadas Mahajan. I am not going to touch the name of any Dadas 12 Mahajan. They are 
self-realized soul. Shangur, Narado, Sambhu, Kumar, Kapilo, Manu, Pralhad, Vispo, Janako, Valir, Vayasake, Vayam, Vayasake, Vayam, Dado, Sita, Vijanimo, Dharmam, Bhagavatam, Bhatta, Guiham, Vishuddham, Durvadhyam, Yadgyata, Amrita, Mashmate. Who told? Our one Mahajan out of twelve Mahajan, Jamraji Maharaj. He is speaking. Shangbhur, Narodo, Sambhu, Kumaro, Kapilo, Manu, Pralad, Vismo, Janako, Valir, Valir, Vayasakir, Vayam, Dado, Saita, Bijanimo. Only we are, by the mercy of Bhagavan, having some idea, knowledge about Atma Tattva. All other, only twelve Mahajan. So, twelve Mahajan mean we are not sure that any demigods they have any idea. Because already written in Sastra. Already their prescription gave that those uh, Jamraji Maharaj say these four, these twelve, they are having aware. Atma Tattva, Jamraji Maharaj speaking so secret, so sec secret of the all secrets, that it can never be known by any ordinary man. Never. Not even demigods. Not even Not demigods, no Gandharva, Kinnar, it is written, Bhagavatam. No Vidyadhar, Charano, Gandharva, no surety. They have no knowledge about Atma Tattva. But they are enjoying. We can go anywhere. If I like to go to heaven, I can go. Without any plane, without any passport, visa, you know, nothing. They can go anywhere they like. Because they find form, they can fly, they can go, they have the chariot, this facility, so many. But you are not enjoying facility, you are not enjoying any facility, this is very good. Otherwise, there is so many facility, you can become blind. Facility can make you blind. If abounded amount of money there, you can become blind. You can ignore Guru Vaishnava. Oh, poor. Surely, you can make mistake. One so-called devotee asking me, one so-called devotee asking me, Maharaj, Lakshmi, Lakshmi Devi is so rich, uh, goddess of riches, but why she is going to take one owl, useless owl? She can arrange a big, big you know, arrangement. She is very rich. She can arrange anything. But why she is going to ride one owl? My, what is the reason? Some devotee asking. I say it's very practical. Why not? Well, why? I say you see. I see. I say see. Those who are going to have riches, they become blind. An owl, daytime everybody can see, but they cannot see. Daytime all creature can see clearly, but they cannot see. Night time and darkness there, they can see clearly. That's why Lakshmi Devi wanted to make us understand, if you are going to get riches, automatically you can blind, like the owl. That's why, be careful before asking huge amount of money, position, everything. It's very good. We like to lead life like a beggar. At all, if somebody giving, we can use for seva. Harikatha Kirtan and Popat was sure about it. Popat, Popat wanted to make and to give a guarantee that any amount of money, anything coming, we can utilize for the actual preaching of Chaitanya Vani. Actual preaching of Chaitanya Vani, nothing else. Only for actual preaching of Chaitanya Vani. Our money is for this reason, not for enjoyment. Oh, money coming, we can enjoy. Put in bank. Where is bank? What bank? One pure sadhu, they are always leading this life this way. There is so many sloka in second canto, you know. So many. So this way we can see Parikshit Sukhde Goswami Maharaj going to chide. Sukhde Goswami going to speak heavily. Why those, why those, you know, Kashmad Bhajanti Kavayo Dhanodurma Dandhan. Those are Kavayo. Kavayo men. They can see past present. Why they are going to catch the lotus and our feet of rich people? Why? Bhagavan is blind. Bhagavan cannot, cannot protect me, cannot give anything. Eh? 
Why they are going to uh, flatter, I give me money, why? Sukhdeva Goswami is speaking. Kasmad bhajanti kavayo dhanadurma dhan dhan. They are blind due to their riches. They, due to their riches, they have big property, so they are blind. They can insult Guru Vishnu. So why they are going to uh, cast their lotus and a feet to get money, this, that? Automatically Bhagavan can send, somebody can send. Somebody can send. I was in Surya Kundu, I told you. Uh, so, devotees, they request me, you are here, you can change the temple. It was broken temple, totally. And where I am sitting doing bhajan, if you search the whole temple, you cannot find me. So secret way. All old, na? You know, that's all. Very old temple, Sujanan Mandir, Radharani used to go. So some devotee speaking, you are here, you can do something. I said, okay. I cannot, you know, I write one glorification of Surya Narayan Bhagavan, including called Krishna, Krishna Nila Radhan. So I wanted to print in English and, you know, Bengali, so many. So I distribute. And when I was bound to come away due to some politics of some devotee, I think it's more good. Because I need realization. I am not going to capture that place. Follow. I do, do never like to capture one place. I want to get realization of the place where I am doing bhajan. That I got. For a long time I was doing, I know, by the desire of Prabhupada Bhakti Mutok, because everywhere politics, where to go? I cannot depend upon, I beg uh, chapati and lead my life and cook myself this way. But what important thing is that I got some realization. I got some direct realization from that place. That is my net profit. But some Gauriya Sadhu, they thought Maharaj is influential, so Maharaj can capture that place. Then I was bound to go away. Okay, no problem, you stay. Finally, they could not control. They also missed that place because their behavior character was not approved by, not approved by Bhujabhasis. But anyway, I was successful. The reason for why I was there, it was successful. Some rich man was very much interested to make a new temple, spending 60, over 60 lakhs. I was not there. I was bound to come, what to do? They make politics. Finally, I was successful. I was very happy. The reason for why I was there, it was successful, because some rich man, some rich man from Costa Rica, he spent 60 lakhs amount for this temple. Only because of my writing and request. Okay. I am not taking even one single price. Also, there is one temple in Nandagram, Pavan Sarvar, Pavan Bihari, where Sanatan Goswami used to stay there. I used to stay there for some days. But actually, that temple is just adjacent to that temple. That temple is there, same place. That this is, you know, this side, Sanatana Goswami, or this side. And that Pavan Bihari Mandir, an old Mandir, very old, old man. He was one Gauriya devotee. He was one Gauriya devotee. He used to respect me. He told Maharaj, if you can do something, I can uh, make new temple. I said, okay. I can speak to somebody. I am not speaking for myself. I am not taking anything. Whatever they like to, they can give directly to them. Even for book, book printing, if somebody giving, I, I you need not give me. You give to the press, press man. Anyway, what I can do? I have no bank, no packet, nothing. It's good you can transfer to the press man. So that temple was also around 35 or 40 lakhs he spent. So this way I, I only you know, wanted to get some keeper, nothing else, no money. Successful, very. So anyway, <coughs> out of false ego, nobody can do Hari Vajan. So there is no guarantee that those demigods, they are, you know, realize or nothing. One incident in Pura, in, in, you know, Upanishad, there, one incident in Upanishad. Just I told that our 
great devotee, our great, you know, Bhagavad Parshat is Jamraji Maharaj. Jamraji Maharaj is coming in the form of Vidurji Maharaj. Jamraji Maharaj himself coming in the form of Vidurji Maharaj. Vidurji Maharaj is Jamraji Maharaj. He is coming in this form. In this world. So Vidurji Maharaj is the eternal parts of the Bhagavan. Jamraji Maharaj. He is going to carry out the order of Bhagavan. So, I mean, our Jamraji Maharaj, he was very much uh, careful because he was not ready to give uh, Atma Tattva to everybody. Very reserved. One day, one thing happened. What happened? Bale, one son, his name is Nochiketa. His name is Nochiketa. His father, Uddala Rishi. He wanted to arrange one Jagya, this Jagya. And after the Jagya is over, he wanted to donate a cow, the Gomata. But he is going to donate all useless cows. Milk period is over, cannot give milk. Old cow, they are going to distribute. But the son was very sorry. Son was very sorry. Why my father going to distribute this kind of useless dog? Eh? At least you should give nice thing. But then, that small boy, Nochiketa, asking to father, you are donating all Gomata, everything to the Rishi Munis, everything, Brahman, Vaishnava, but whom you can give me? Whom you can donate me, myself? Father not giving answer. Whom you can donate me? But the father not giving answer, three times, four times, asking, then father was angry, I can give you to Jomraj. I can give you to the goddess of death. Oh, really? Father very angry and going to speak. I can give you to Jomraj. Okay, foolish. And he was very happy. Okay, you like to give me to Jomraj. Okay, then I am going to Jomraj. Then he started running for Jamalai. He started running. Jamalai direction. Jamala is in a west. Uh, uh, it is a west and uh, southwest direction. Some Dakshin in Dakshin south direction. If you go some particular, you know, you can go. There is Jamraj. Jamraj Maharaj is uh, no. So our that Mushiketa going there. Father speaking, I can. I already donate to you. So, okay, you donate to me to Jamraj, then I am going to Jamraj. Then that Nochiketa are going to Jamraj. Jamraj place, palace of Jamraj there. But Jamraj was not there. He was busy, uh, gone to some place for some reason. For consecutively, for three days, that small boy was fasting. It is the rule sin as per Vedic culture, if some guest coming to you, it is the strict Rules and regulation in Vedic culture. If some guest coming to you, you cannot insult him. You will have to give place, prasadam, seat. You will have. If you are very poor, then at least you can speak sweet word and give some asan, give some at least water. You are very poor, you have nothing. This is the rules. But Jomraj is not there. Who can understand who is Machiketa on small boy? Nobody care. So he was there. After three days, when Jamraji Maharaj coming back, Jamraji, Jamraji Maharaj watching, you are here? And, ah, yeah. And when you came? For three days. Three days? You are here standing? Yes. So you are not taking any prasadam, water, nothing. Well, nobody care. Nobody asks me. Oh, oh, it's a big mistake for me. Oh, oh, I have done a great, you know, aparad. So I like to give you benediction to you. Three benediction to you, you like to take. To cut this kind of aparad, I am going to give you benediction, okay. So, Jamraji Maharaj speaking, what, benedi what benediction you need? Well, Maharaj, uh, I like to know the mystery of fire. I like to know the mystery of fire. The, because the mystery of fire is very secret. Because we cannot see Whole world, everything is you know, controlled by fire. Even demigods, 
If fire is not there, demigods can fast. Because fire is going to carry their share. Whatever you are oblation, you are going to Om Indra Swaha, Varuna Swaha, then fire is going to take and uh, supply them. If fire is not there, they are fasting. Big problem there. I like to know the secrecy of fire. Oh, oh what you can do? A very small boy you are. You, 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 can, you can take big amount of property. I can give you money, position, everything. Everybody can know you. No, I don't need. Why, why, why? I can give you everything you take. No, I cannot take. I can give you everything. Whatever you, uh, country, you know, kingship, whatever you know. I don't need it. The small boy, you, if you can speak about uh, the secrecy of Agni Tattva, fire Tattva, then I can. Then Jamraji Maharaj was bound to speak about the secrecy of Agni Tattva. It's very secret. Actually, Agni is going to control everything. If no fire, our oh, whole world finish. Even inside you, fire is there, fire God. Without which you cannot digest. In Gita it is written, nah. In Gita it is written, all your digestion, everything, all your heat, heat product, production of your body, heat production, all due to fire. If fire is not going to help you, you are going to die. Or very secret. Agni Lok, how you can uh, get the help of Agni uh, to come out successful this way. After that, second benediction, what do you want? I like to know Atma Tattva. I like to know all the mystery of Atma. After people dying, after all Jiva dying, where they are going? Are you would like to know this Tattva? No, 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 no. Don't try to know this thing. It's very secret. You see, if you are not going to speak to me, who can speak me? Because you are the only you know, Tattva Bid who can speak to me. So you can ask something else. I can give to... No, you have to speak about Atma Tattva. I, I like to know the secrecy of Atma. After people die, where Atma going? What is the secrecy? Where going? What? I like to know. Oh, you are a small boy. What you can do with this? I can give you so much. No, you will have to speak. Otherwise, no need. No need of giving any. I don't need any. The Jomraj was annoyed because if I'm, I promise to give three benedictions, if I am not giving, it is where my name can be there in blacklist. <laughs> my name will be there in blacklist. So I will have to speak. Okay, but don't speak to anybody. Very careful. Atma is a top secret thing. Nobody knows. Those who are living now, how many crores of people on this earth at present? 800 crores maybe, but they, none of them have idea about, about the movement of Atma. Living body, where Atma going? Nobody knows. Nobody have idea. That's why it is written in Upanishad, Naya Matma Prabhachane Nabha Na Medhaya Na Bhuna Sutena Jam Eva Esha Vrinite Tena Labhya He can only know if if Atma is going to accept him, I mean Paramatma is going to approve, okay, I can, I can unveil the mystery to you. Because Atma Paramatma is staying together, na? same place. So Atma means you have to. This way, Nayam Atma Prabhachanila Bhya no Medhaya no Bhavuna Sita. By passing lecture on Atma Tattva, nobody can realize. By hearing all Atma Tattva, nobody can realize. Hello. This way is not possible. Only and only if Atma Tattva is going to accept me, I can unveil my mystery in front of him only. He can know. I was speaking in the morning time that in Vedanta, it is written in Vedanta about Atma, very small indication. Very small indication only, not speaking clearly. What about Atma? Well, only I can say, it is just like light, light particle. Only this much. Gunat Alokbat. Qualitatively, 
qualitatively we can say, we can compare with, maybe we can compare with, but not light. Maybe, not light. Maybe many, there is no, it is not that the light is, you know, Atma is light. It is just like looking like. But it is, morning time I was speaking, the Atma is Chinmaya, Chit, Chit particle. So small, so small, so small, no scientist in the world, no scientist in the world, by any device, they can, they can look Atma. So small and so mysterious. When, why Atma can fly, you cannot understand. So secret. So in Upanishad also, and in Gita also it is written, that Balagra Bhagasya Satabhakasya if the tips, if the tips appear, if the tips appear here, tips appear here, is divided into eh, hundred trees. And that each, that each hundred trees, if can be invited, uh, divided into again hundred trees. Try to understand. One tips appear here, which cannot be seen properly. Just like virus. If you are going to divide into hundred parts, and each part, if again you are going to divide into hundred parts, then there is no possible. Even by any a very powerful, you know, you cannot see. Medicine you cannot see. There is an Atma. And that Atma, morning time I was speaking, if Atma going out from your body, if Atma going out from mother, two Atma can be there. But you cannot identify who is a man, who is, who is husband, who is wife. Nobody can understand. Because Atma, you cannot see the body, na? Atma going out. Atma is there. Like the case of Shishupal, I already told, na? When by will, Krishna is going to cut, because he is trying countless aparad, offense. Finally, Krishna, Say the after hundred, up to hundred eight offense I can bear. Uh, when hundred eight offense is going to cross over, then I can take step. Not before that. So Krishna always and a bearing with full patience. But after that, Krishna taking one will, and will by will Krishna going to cut the throat. Shishupal going to die. And all Rishi Muni, they are watching that the Atma of Shishupal coming out of the body in front of all Muni Rishi. Their darshan is not like you and me. They can see everything. So they are watching the Atma coming out from the body like lamp, lamp, lamp. Just like lamp, very small. Jyotin Moy, very light is there. Very nice light. Then finally what happens? Now, finally, what happens? That Atma, that Atma Chinmay Atma, going to submerge in the lotus feet of Krishna. Now, question can come that they can see, we cannot see. You can say in Bhagavatam, it is written, Atma can be seen. It is written, because there is Munirisi can see, but you cannot see. Because your power of vision, is not uh, purified. Your power of vision not purified. So you cannot see. So Atma, the mystery of Atma, where going, where entering, where going, there is no way. Nobody can understand. I was speaking like the, you know, spark, you know, spark, you know, spark from fire. Spark, you don't know? Like one, one, you know, one, you know, that uh, petroleum air, tack, a fire coming on. First, there is one sparking. Sparking, no? So, it can be compared with sparking or it can be compared with the photon particle, photon. From sun, from sun god, light rays coming, one, one photon particle is so small. It can be compared. It can be. But it should not be compared. But it can be, because no other way. Because it is not like that. Near approximation. Whenever we are going to speak about the transcendental world, 
Whenever we are going to speak about Bhagavan, when you are going to speak about, you know, uh, about Golok or Vaikuntha, whenever we are going to speak about some Atma Tattva, follow, then we can speak spiritual thing near approximation. Not exactly. Near approximation, we can say, up to that far. Yeah, it is like that. But like that mean, like that mean, it is not that. Like that, it looks like that. That means, not exact thing. But there is no other way. Bonded people, they cannot, they, can, they have no idea, direct idea about transcendent rule. So this way, we are, we are speaking. All, I mean, Sukhdev Goswami, Vyasdev Goswami, who not? Sankar Bhagavan. I speak in this way because bonded soul cannot understand. So, in Vedanta Sutta it is written, the Atma is just like like particle. Gunat Alokba. Qualitatively, like light, not light. Now that Chinmay Atma, you to try to understand, the body, the body of you know, Krishna, the body of Gopikas, the body of Radharanis, they are made, they are totally made up of that Atma. Whereas, you try to understand, whereas this Atma entering in your body and your whole body is active. Now you can run this here, your small Atma, but Radharani or Dham or any dust particle, they are totally Chinma, that Qualitatively, that same thing. Don't understand. Suppose that Atma is there, coming out, that is Chinma, but that quality is their whole body. I mean, Krishna is not made of flesh and blood. His whole body is Chinma. His total body, total cloth, total bangsi, whatever you think, you know, all made of Chinma. Now we understand, huh? It's Chinma. So this is the definition of Chinmay. Not that is very easy. You can hear and understand. It's not possible. Finally, Jamraji Maharaj was bound to speak about the Atma Tattva, very secret Tattva, and speak. Don't speak to everybody. We're very secret. Now your Atma can come out of the body according to your according to your karma fall. That Atma can fly. Atma can fly. Sometimes Atma can move around this space because all here we cannot see. All field, the sky. In Bhagavatam, it is written, Atma Vasham Idam Sarva, Sarvam Jatkin Chit Jagatam Jat. Atma Vasham Idam. All where Atma, but we cannot see. So our Baldev Vidyavasan speaking some secret thing. Baldev Vidyavasan, Atma is there already. In water, here, there are so many. Somehow, we are like crops, we are taking chapati, rice, so many things. The Atma, when can get, get entered into your body? Atma always entering. After that, you want to give birth to a children. Then this way, Atma can enter into the womb of mother. She can give birth to her. But Atma, where, when, why going? Why one Atma? Because there is countless Atma entering. But one Atma can fertilize one ovum. Countless Atma entering. It is by chance. Which Atma can fertilize and gigot formation, then after that, fetus, small boy. Countless. Countless Jiva entering. But one Jiva, by the desire of Bhagavan, is successful. This way, that Jiva taking birth, he is going to die. This way, Atma, where? All around Atma. It's mystery. When and how your Atma can go out of your body, where can enter, which way, it's no surety. It depends upon your karma fall. It depends upon your karma fall. In Vrindavan, all, you know, trees and, you know, plants, everything, all chinmaya. But we see material. In Navadip, all is Chinmay, but we find all material. Because our eyes cannot adapt. We cannot, 
Anyway, this way Atma Tattva, tomorrow also I can speak about something. Now, point is that regarding Vindavan Parikram, Atma Tattva is very important. If you don't, if you don't understand Guru Tattva, Atma Tattva, your Vindavan Darshan is useless. Now, actually, we can first go to Mathura now, Mathura, and from Mathura, we can start Parikram. But in Mathura, there are so many places. In Mathura, there are so many places of Darshan, countless. But some vital points we can speak. Bhuteshwar Mahadev, anyway, you will have to go to Bhuteshwar Mahadev. It is, it is a must. It is a must. You will have to approach Bhuteshwar Mahadev and pay Dandavad unto his lotus feet and Patal Vairavi. Down and down, very, there is, you know, Vairavi Devi, Bhuteshwar and wife, wife means Shakti, they are down. If you have your power, you can go down, 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 down. You can see Devi standing there. And Bhuteshwar Mahadev, you will have to beg for pardon, Nandiyadiya. You can say, I have father, I am going to, I like to do Parikram, if you can permit me. Because you are the only, you know, controller, I mean the manager. Total, whatever you do in Mathura Mandal, if you don't take permission from Bhuteshwar, it's a big problem. You have to give punishment. Bhuteshwar is a controller of the Dham of Bhagavan. So, first of all, we can go to Bhuteshwar, give water, Baba is very satisfied. Even one drop of water, if you give one drop of water, Baba is okay, very good. One drop of water. Only one drop. Baba is very happy. He give me one drop of water. Is Vaishnava, no. Anything you give, very happy. One drop of water, a belpata you can give or cannot give up to you. Bole Baba. And Parikram also half Parikram. Like you, you know. Because, because we are putting water and the water is channelized through one channel. So if you are going to do full parikram, you are bound to do aparad because you can cross over the water force. Because Sankar Bhagavan Nirmala, it is not Sankar Bhagavan, we are putting water, the water where can go? The water should be channelized. So if you are going to full parikram, then you are going to surely you are going to do some aparad. So half parikram. Is mandir, this, 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 this you will have to do four times. Done. After that, you can start. The anyway, first of all, I like to discuss all about the different you know, uh, places inside Mathura city, at present city. So, there is one, first of all, I can go to the birthplace of Krishna. I mean, in Mathura, in the jail, in the jail room, in the jail room of Kamsa, in the jail room of Kamsa, Krishna appear with four hand, four hand, na? It is written. After that, become a small boy. First of all, appear like four hand. So, Vasudev Ji and Devaki, both of them were sent to jail was sent forcefully, sent to jail by Kamsa. So inside jail, Krishna take bath. That place at present there in Mathura and government and all other foolish people, they are going to declare that, that, that the very place is the birthplace of Krishna. But it is not that. Everybody is an illusion, Maya. Everybody going to, thousands of people coming to take their son of that place. But in fact, that place is not the appearance place of Krishna. Nobody knows. But government going to make arrangement, temple, everybody knows, everybody going, okay, they can go, you can also go. But the actual birthplace is neglected. It is the arrangement of Maya. Actual birthplace in Chaitanya Chaitanya routine, it is just near... Adi Keshap Mandir. You can find Chaitanya Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to take darshan of Adi Keshap. Adi Keshap also from Daparjuk. 
I mean from that time. Dapar Yuga means just Dapar over and our Vajranava, Vajranava established. That's very nice due to small date. And just adjacent to that, you know, place, there is the actual birthplace of Krishna, but nobody knows. They are going to ignore that place, avoid. But we go. So now actually, people are going to take darshan of that place, whole Krishna Janmasthan, Abhirva place, and the jail where they make, they make arrangement, they make like jail where Jasuda, uh, and, I mean, uh, Devokima and Vasudevji were sent into jail, that place, you can take darshan. Anyway, they are going to identify. For after that, after that, you can find one big, you know, lake, you know, Lake Kunda. Lake, no, I should, lake is in very bad word regarding Siddhanta Visha, it is Kunda. It is called Putra Kunda. Putra Kunda means is one, you know, place where after, you know, the birth of Krishna, is actually the arrangement of Jogamaya, our Devokima took birth there, birth there. That is a place you can find big kunda, big kunda there. So Krishna's Abhirbhar place you can find, you can pay down the birth. After that you can see uh, Putara kunda, is big, big kunda in the city, big area. After that, you can take darshan of Adi Keshav. Adi Keshav is a very important place. Adi Keshav is a deity installed by Bajiranabha. Mahaprabhu, not only Mahaprabhu, even Madhavendra Puri, who not, everybody who went there, they are bound to take darshan of Adi Keshav without, without taking darshan of Adi Keshav, all useless. So, have to go. So Adi Kesab, they are very nice temple, they are seva doing. Mahaprabhu also went there. And, in, and Mahaprabhu also went there in Adi Kesab Mandir. And there Mahaprabhu meet with, with that Shonodiya Vipra. Shonodiya Brahman. Mahaprabhu met there. Because Mahaprabhu was dancing, singing. Finally, that devotee also doing singing and dancing. And the devotee uh, is, is very surprised to see the appearance of Mahaprabhu. Finally going to tell, who are you? You have any connection with... Eh? Mahaprabhu asking, you have any connection with Madhavendu Puripad? Yes, he is my guru. You guru? So I can pay Dandavat to you. Mahaprabhu is going to catch that. Yeah, you are doing... Because you are my guru. Mahaprabhu is going to speak, you are my guru. You took Diksha from Madhavendu Puripad. That Sonoriya Brahman speaking, Madhavendra Puripad, the great, you know, go and Bhagavad Parshad, he came there in Mathura and I meet with him and uh, I took uh, Harinam Diksha from him and he, out of his causeless mercy, took prasadam in my. Oh, I can also take. How you can take? Everybody can criticize. Uh, let them criticize. Because my Guru, our previous Guru Bar got done, so I cannot change the rules. Maha Jano Je, Maha Jano Jeno Gato Sapantha. I cannot change the rules. Because our, my Guru Varga, Param Guru Dev, he took prasadam in your I can also take. Well, you can take this way. From then onward, that Sonoriya Brahman was very much interested to stay with Mahaprabhu. He was never interested to leave Mahaprabhu. One kind of magnetic attraction. He wanted to stay all the time. He never liked to go away. So, whole Parikram I can discuss. Sonuriya Vipro was there and Balabhadda Vadu already there, already came from Bengal with Mahaprabhu. And all other deities and uh, devotees are there, like Krishna Das, I told, he is Brajavasi, he also liked to stay with Mahaprabhu. So, this way. So, within Mathura Mandal, you can see. Darshan, so many darshan. There is one place where the oh, whole function was, whole function, you know, there was a function, na? there was one function arranged by Kangsa. In that function, Krishna and Balaram was invited, you can know, both of them were Dhanur, Dhanur Yoga. 
It is called Dhanur Yoga. I mean, who can break the bow? Bow. Who can break? Who has power? It's make and the Dhanur Yoga going on. So, big Jagya. In this context, they wanted to make some different kind of, you know, function like wrestling, like wrestling everything. They arrange, king is arranging. So, this way, that place is there, but uh, you cannot, because now city, now, now city, hold Mathura city, you cannot, uh, you cannot understand the whole area. Only small area where Kongso used to sit in his throne and down all, you know, people, or they are going to show some art, art, na, like wrestling, everything. Kongso watching from up and all, <coughs> People, I mean, they like to do, they can do anything. That place, I mean, the place of his sitting, throne, then up, you can find. Near Kesabji Gauri, but not near, little bit, you have to come this way. There is four Mahadev, you can find, four Karnar, they are protecting. Rangeshwar, Pipaleshwar, you know, this way you can find four Mahadev all around. People Ashwar, Rangeshwar. This way all four Karna. They are protecting. You can get darshan of that, that place. Also, there are so many places of darshan. Like, when you go inside Mathura city, you don't know the location. There is one very ancient temple. That is called Darukadhis temple. That Darukadis temple was established by big sadhu, but now it is controlled by government. I mean, they are doing weak temple, Darukadish. I mean, you can see the deities just like Darukadhis Bhagavan. Darukadhis is not here, but they make this temple, very important temple. All around golden plate and golden, you know, and a silver plate all around temple, very important. Thousands of people coming to take darshan of that deity. Very nice temple. Very nice. Attractive temple. Or their service. That is called Darukadhis. Darukadhis temple it is called. And from Darukadhis you will have to come down and go enter. You have to enter into Mathura lane and lane. You cannot understand. There you can find Baraha. They have two Baraha. You can find. One is white baraha, another is black baraha. White baraha, Shet, Shet, no, Shet baraha kalpa, he appeared, it only delivered the earth and gone. Shet baraha. Two temples there. You cannot understand. Very regular lane, very lane, very small lane. Those who are having it, they can go. No other can. There you can get white Baraha Dev, worship going on, Baraha Bhagavan. And another is black Baraha, little bit away. But black Baraha appeared when, when Hiran Nakcho wanted to put challenge. That was the time. So white Baraha appeared much before. White Baraha. White Baraho appeared much before, Black Baraho appeared after. I mean, when the question of when the question of fighting with Hiranyakho took place, that time appeared. But our Basdev Goswami, I mean Sukhdev Goswami speaking, Basdev Goswami, they they wanted to they want to speak only one time. Actually, Baraho was the two. But they are going to speak one time because there is no time. No time they wanted to uh, summarize. So only it is written, Baraha Dev appeared, wanted to wanted to Baraha Dev appeared, he wanted to you know uh, kill Hiranako and deliver the earth and go on. But actually two times. First time appeared and wanted to deliver the earth gone under water, wanted to submerge and put in the proper place and give the power to hang because the power is also, they are all hanging, no? 
in the sky, star, planets, moon, all hanging. Who giving power? Bhagavan giving power. This way, after that, disappear. But actually, two time appear. Two time, but Vasudev Goswami or Sukhdev Goswami, anyway, they wanted to speak one time. One time, they are speaking, not two times. Anyway, so this Baraho too, you can take darshan. Black Baraho, black, black Baraho, black Baraho came here, black Baraho came here from Sri Lanka by Sotugna. Sotugna, I mean the brother of Ramchandra. He bring. There is the history. Anyway, so black Baraho, and white baraho, you can take darshan. Black baraho, white baraho. After that, you will have to go to take darshan of Dirga Vishnu. There is history. Dirga Vishnu means Krishna. When Krishna and Balaram, when Kongsa arranged fighting, Karasana and Chanur Mustik, you never heard. Chanur Mustik, all powerful. Very, very stout figure. Balaram fighting with Mustik. And Chanur Krishna fighting. I mean, king enjoying the wrestling, wrestling game. But it is actually not game. Actually not game. Kongso wanted to kill that very soft boy, Krishna and Balaram, by Chanur Mushti. In, in front of public, in front of public, king wanted to prove that is one kind of game. Actually not game. They wanted to kill Krishna and Balaram, but they couldn't do. So Chanur and Mustik fighting with Krishna Balaram. This way. And Kongso watching from up. Long history I can speak tomorrow. Today time cannot permit. Long thing. The, after that, when Mustik and Chanur were killed. Respectively, one by Krishna, another by Balaram. That time, Kongso was very nervous. Kongso could not, Kongso could not imagine how possible the small uh, two boys can kill eh? Chanur Mustik, who is having the power of you know thousands of you know elephant, and also Kubala, 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 that one special elephant was kept in the gate, kept in the gate to kill Krishna. But that was also, Krishna going to take, you know, that elephant and rub and throw. It's killed. Pastor, they like to eradicate the two front teeth of Kuvalapir, who is having the power of thousands of, you know, elephant. So powerful. Nobody can kill. So Kongso could not uh, imagine even that how possible the small, small two boys can kill. When Krishna Balaram entering the area, I mean area of game, because the area of game now there, when entering, and one, one, two teeth, na, elephant, one teeth Balaram taking this way, another teeth Krishna. When Kongso watching the two teeth, elephant teeth is there, he could realize that Kubalaya, Kubalaya elephant is dead. He was a little bit nervous. After that, he is more nervous when they kill Chanur Mustik. They were very nervous. He wanted to start direct fighting. Then Krishna jumped up to that you know, place and catch the hair of Kangsa and jump into town. I can speak tomorrow, today, no time, you know. I will do so many things. So, the sloka I started with is very important sloka. Vidyate hidaya ganti chiddante sarva sankshaya khiyante chasva karman drishtane vaat manishvare banchakalpatrusha. 